Good morning. Welcome to the Ambassadors Hour. This is your girl, Minister Asia. How are you all today? It is such a wonderful Wednesday. I thank God that I have life, strength, breath in my body. I have hope unmeasurable. I'm just in a good place with God and I thank him so very much. I'm definitely going to have to put you guys right back not rat back rat back in the clip because the police gonna get me honey and i ain't gonna get the jail on the ambassador's hour welcome to the ambassador's hour if you're new to the channel my name is asia Marie. i am a minister of the gospel and i love to share his word if you are new to the channel, the Ambassador's Hour is a telecommunication outreach ministry solely dedicated to speaking in present truths. And the truth always and forever will be that Jesus Christ is good. The Lord God Almighty is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I promise I'm going to have to start taking the interstate to work because I don't know why the police detoured me. There, I think there was an accident ahead. Lord God bless and protect those people. Watch over them. Keep them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I do not know how to get to work in this direction. So we're definitely going to have an extended car block today because I'm lost. Yes. Okay. Anyway, long story short. <laughs> The Ambassador's Hour is a subsidiary of loving people by sharing Christ. Loving people by sharing Christ is a Christian support page found on Facebook, founded by Minister Renata C. McFadden and her bestie Heather. On loving people by sharing Christ, you can find memes, gifts, and other graphical depictions of the undying love of Jesus Christ. And so you can inbox your prayer requests and you can inbox your testimonies to the support page and there you will have the support you need and if you have ever inboxed or requested comment down below i like to talk with you guys a lot of times you are corresponding with minister renata she's my sister and she's so wonderful but you can always um email me inbox us we have a facebook page as well ambassadors hour and we have an instagram ig ambassadors hour nonetheless i digress this week we have been talking about flourishing in the fear of god we talked about the benefits of fearing god and today we're going to talk about the topic of reciprocity in the kingdom isn't that something um reciprocity if you don't know what reciprocity is let me just go all the way back and then come forward okay in any natural or carnal relationship that you have you're going to look for a mutually beneficial synergistic relationship that's cohesive that flows that's wonderful you're going to look for a relationship that edifies you that you reap as much as you sow into that relationship or you yield kindred benefits that you have deposited and or you know given into that relationship and so let me tell you in the kingdom of god there's no difference and the reason why he has me focused and fixated upon fearing him because fear is none other than respect reverential respect and honor of God. The word of God tells us that we should honor him with all of our substance. Our substance is not just um, money or monetary value, but when you honoring the Lord God Almighty with your substance, that's the most valuable and important component of your life. Isn't that something? That's your time. That is the gift that he has deposited on the inside of you. You know that your gift makes room for you and brings you before great men. But when you're honoring God with all of your substance and you are seeking him and you are giving him your time, your talent, and your treasures, that is showing reverential respect, which is founded by and stands upon wisdom because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and wisdom is the principal thing and wisdom has so many benefits and yields so many properties that we will talk about in the future but today we're talking about reciprocity now let's take this to a natural um, aspect the 
natural aspect of reciprocity is this. If you are um, in math and you're doing fractions, with fractions, you will do what is called take the reciprocal of the fraction. That's where you take the number that is in the denominator and switch it to the number that's in the numerator and the number that's in the numerator and you switch it to that that's in the denominator. Take what's on the bottom, put it on top. Take what's on top, put it on the bottom. Take the reciprocal of it. That is how it goes in marriage, in any relationship. Whatever the husband has to give, the wife has to give back. Whatever your partner gives you, you have to give them back. And that's what helps the relationship to flourish and to grow and to live and to thrive and to be very healthy and so when we're in the kingdom of God when we fear him and we're looking for our lives to flourish we want our ministries to grow we want our families to be healthy we want the resources and the um, income and the houses and the material things those things are natural and carnal but guess what the spirit realm is the causal realm so in order for anything to manifest in the natural it has to be birthed in the spirit isn't that something so the reciprocity that we're getting to be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap God is not a man that he should lie. Now, the son of man that he should have to repent. If he said it, then he would surely do it. He sits high and he watches, his, he watches to perform his word. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He is Alpha Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, the last, which was, which is, and which is to come. His mind made the universe. And he's put the mind of Christ in us. Isn't that something? And so when we're here today, we're talking about reciprocity and we're talking about respecting God. That means this. We look, God gives us life, strength, breath, health, well-being. Then as a reciprocal, we give our life back to him. Isn't that something? You've given me the ability to get wealth. I'll sow my seed back to you, God. You've given me this gift of gab. <laughs> So I'll give it back to you, God. You have given me, you know, the ability to be an influencer. That's what a lot of wonderful influencers are on, you know, all social media platforms. They have followings in the millions. And as a result, God has trusted you with those people, in essence, with those souls. And you have to give them back to God. Isn't that something? No matter how fanatical I am on Chronicles of the Curvaceous, no matter how um, extra, my sister called me ultra extra or super extra or some kind of extra the other day, that I am, I always bring it back to God because he's everything to me. He's my everything. And I understand that in order to fulfill the mission and mandate on my life, I have to have a relationship with him that is founded upon, works upon, yielded, grooted, grounded in reciprocity. I got to give back to God as much as he's given me. Isn't that something? Um, there's an old song. I think it's a made up song. I'm clapping. I'm ready. Lord, I give you joyfully. Lord, I give you joyfully. Lord, I give you joyfully what you've given me. Hey, if it had not been for you, if it had not been for you, if it had not been for you, wouldn't have none to give. That's what reciprocity is all about. It's having the joy of the Lord, which is your strength that God gave that no man or woman or person on this earth can take away from you. And you give back joyfully everything he's given you. Time, talent, treasures, your family, your everything. When you give God a true worship and a true yes, it costs you something. There has to be a grave level of sacrifice to come with it. I'm like, Solomon, God, I don't want to give you nothing that didn't cost me something. Isn't that something? David, he gave, he sacrificed unto the Lord. 
You look at Isaac. He sacrificed. He sold it in the same year. He reaped a hundredfold. When you're living the life, a Christian kingdom life that is filled with reciprocity, yes, you flourish. You overflow. You live in the overflow. Jesus Christ came that we may have life and have life more abundantly to the full, to the overflows. Nothing missing, nothing broken. God has called us to a flourishing and abundant life. But it is contingent upon the fact that we have to give him our life. We have to be like Nicodemus. Even though he came by night, we ain't going to talk about that. We have to come to him and say, you know, Rabbi, I, Rabbi, I know, Master, you are a good teacher. And what do I have to do? to be saved you know and you know we have to be born again born of the spirit born of the fire the holy ghost we got to be believing in our heart and accepting in our believing in our heart and confessing with our mouth that jesus christ died for us we have to be baptized with water we have to go down and as we go down and we are eating Submerge in that, you know, like submerge, go down, you submerge in the water. When you emerge and come back up, you come back up a new creation. In Christ Jesus, all things are made new. Isn't that something? You're a new creation. The old things pass away and the new, and then behold, all things are becoming new. And as God makes you over, you live a life that is yielded to him. You are a willing and yielded vessel to him. If he say go left, like he detoured me today. I left early so I can be on time. But he detoured me so that I can make sure that I had ample enough time. Because he his business first made ample enough time to let his people know that I want as much from you as I give you. I've given you everything. Everything you have. If you look around from the sky to the ground, he gave it to you. Your bank account, your house, your car, and if you want more, it's his to give you. Our Lord God owns a cattle on a thousand hills. Hills. The silver is his. The gold is his. And he will shake heaven and earth, and the desires of the nation shall surely come, but he requires something of you. It's going to cost you your life. Except you give up house, car, mother, father, land, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Does that mean that you have to physically do like the church in the book of Acts and take your Mercedes? I'm looking at a Mercedes Jeep in front of me. Take your Benz and take your Mercedes, your Mercedes Benz, take your Infinity, take your whatever and give it to the church? No. But that means that if somebody needs you to give them a ride in this Lux vehicle, then it's yours to do. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, the Lord set me up. He set me up yesterday. Um, there has been someone around me in one of my settings that is of a different faith. And this person needed to Uber somewhere. And I was like, you're going to lift? You're going to take a lift? You're going to take an Uber? I'll, I'll take you home. And when I took that person home, his job and all, I was able to minister the gospel to them. Tears flowing down their cheeks. I have never experienced the love of God and the power of God in this Camry like I did yesterday. Isn't that something? He set me up. And he let me know, and I'm about to cry. I'm a, I ain't gonna cry this time. I ain't gonna cry. I'm, I'm a big girl. I ain't gonna cry. Big girls, they don't cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't cry. Anyway, <laughs> I love you guys. You're tuned into the Ambassadors Hour with Minister Asia P. Seriously. I love the Lord and I love to laugh. Okay? Get with it. So, um, I never ever felt him in the capacity that I felt him yesterday. And I know that nothing happens by chance. And he orders and directs our steps. Even if I got to twist through a McDonald parking lot to find my way to work. And then yield through this Waffle House and go this way. Because I know this way takes me to work. You know what I'm saying? I just came from somewhere. But I don't know where. But I know that this direction is where I need to go. Okay? But um, <laughs> I digress. Lord bless the people on Highway 41. 
and watch over them and protect them that caused this detour this morning. Anyway, Lord, I love you, God, with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul, with the breath, the Ruach creative breath, the Zoe, God kind of life that you deposited in me, God. Before the foundation of the earth, you trusted me with your people, God. You trusted me. You put me in this body. You put me in this life. You gave me this personality. You gave me this heart so I can love your people, God. And I know, Lord God, that it is a season where people are called to reciprocity. That we have to give back to you. Give back to you everything that you have given us. We have to fear you. And we have to work out our soul salvation with fear and trembling. We have to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, God, which is our reasonable service. We decree and declare today, Lord God, that we repent for every time we did not have a reciprocity relationship with you where we were givers, givers, givers. God, give me. God, bless me. God, heal me. God, do this and God, do that. And today, God, we come to you, Jesus, humble, yielded, and bold in you, God, saying we want to do a new thing, God. We want you, Lord God, to use us, Lord God. If you can use anything, God, you can use us, God. We decree and declare this day that we are willing vessels, God. Search our hearts, search our souls, creating us a clean heart, renewing us a righteous spirit, Lord God, that we may not sin against you, Lord. Give us an anointing, a fresh anointing, Lord God, a power, a drive, and a zeal that will remove every burden, that will destroy every yoke, that will shake the pits of hell, that will destroy the kingdom of darkness, that will bring down every stronghold, Lord God, that will uproot people, Lord God, from all things that are counter you. We believe, Lord God, in this hour and in this season, you are calling us to reciprocity, God. You're calling us to sow, Lord God, to give and it shall be given unto us, to reap what we sow, Lord God, to give of all of our substance and to honor you with all of our substance, Lord God. And so today, Lord God, we come on this platform and we pray for the person that is watching this video, Lord God. We don't know who they are, Lord God. We don't know their religious background. We don't know their sexual orientation, their gender. We don't know anything about them, but we know that they need you, Jesus. They need you, Lord God. They may be a seasoned saint, they may be a new believer, or they may be an atheist, Lord God, but they need you, Jesus. They need you, God. They need you to speak to them at night, Lord God, when their pillow is filled with tears, Lord God. They need you to speak to them, Lord God, when their body is wrecking with pain. They need you, Lord God, when they have so many voices in their mind, they can't decipher, Lord God, what to do and where to go, Lord God. They need you, Holy Spirit, to be their comforter, to be their guide, to be their teacher, to be their inner witness, to help them, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you are the helper and you're the advocate for them and they need you, Lord God, like never before. I thank you, Lord God, for this day. I thank you for the detour, Lord God. I thank you for an opportunity, Lord God, to come before the throne of grace just one more time, Lord God. I thank you for the opportunity to share the gospel one more time, Lord God. I heard your voice this morning, Lord God, and you said gossip and gospel sound very alike, but they're nothing alike. And you said, I want my people to spread the gospel and not gossip. And I heard you, God, and I will do what you said do. I thank you in advance, God. And as I pull up to my destination, I ask that you bless these, your ambassadors, for whatever they stand in need of. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, I suggest that you get to know him. If you don't know how, please read Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and God raised him from the dead. And that makes you say, get connected in a Bible-believing church with a good shepherd that's following Christ and you follow him as he follows Christ. Go over to Loving People by Sharing Christ, the Christian support page. Founded by Minister Renata C. McFadden and her bestie Heather. Go and 
your inbox, your, your prayer requests, your testimonies, everything, all of it. We love you. Bye.